This is a game review on the Ottoman Empire on the Nintendo Switch. The Ottoman Empire is a casual action game best played with friends in a co-op setting. Though you can play it solo, it's a lot more fun in co-op. It features a lot of unique game modes that like really just keep changing and you're like you cannot predict what you're gonna be doing in your next like match. And the characters all feature different weapons as different loadouts as each character is like a unique kind of like playable character. Like the first dude has like dual pistols, there's a dude with a cardboard sniper rifle who's my favorite, he's really cool. There's a dude with a rocket launcher, they all have different types of movesets or like loadouts in that sense. And you can play these game modes and these characters across different types of maps. The story features an enemy otter because all of these people are basically otters except one of the characters who is a fish tank with a robot body which is super weird. And this enemy Tico basically has a lot of like robot drones fighting with him and he's either trying to just destroy whatever you're doing or destroy the galaxy in a way. He's just like some evil otter and you basically have to counter whatever he's doing and that's like the premise of the story. But it's not really a story driven game in that sense. It's more of a skirmish based battle kind of game where you just jump into action. Here's your game mode or your your objective for the game and that's what you have to do and accomplish to beat Tico and his evil drones and robots. Having a look at the gameplay, it's very busy and confusing at first, especially with your jetpack and your double roll because <laughs> they take a little bit of time to master and it can be kind of confusing to like control them when you're like really new and you don't know what like the moves do, like how to turn and everything and how to like really like get an understanding for like what your character feels like. As we mentioned before, there are a lot of different types of game modes, like a, a one where you have to collect bombs and then dump dunk them through these hoops. There's another one where there's like these weird things that spawn around the map and they have like a target on them and you have to shoot that target until it like reaches the point and then kind of like shoots a laser at the sky and does something. And there's also another one where you have to use your like jetpack and your, your double like double dodge, which is like a roll or like a dash through the sky and you got to go through hoops. So that one was like quite tricky because you really have to like nail the jetpack and the, and the roll at the like right time and the right angle and a big kicker for this is that you're constantly draining your resources for your ammo and your jetpack and you refill your jetpack and ammo fuel basically through these water channels around the map and you basically press y and you kind of like disappear into the water and then you come back up again and you like it recharges your ammo and stuff there it's pretty interesting the campaign features eight different types of levels and in each level there are like three missions that you have to collect up to three stars for each one because the amount of stars you have lets you unlock the future mission so you basically have to like three star everything until you can unlock future levels you can do this in solo or co-op while doing this you actually unlock many types of skins like it's pretty crazy like you get a skin for like your clothes you get a skin for your hat you get a skin for your jetpack and i think there's even more like i haven't looked really in depth at it but like those are like three things that i have unlocked and i was like dude there's like skins for everything it's crazy the gameplay is quite fun once you get used to it or get the hang of actually like controlling your jetpack and shooting at the same time because it's kind of hard to like hold b and use the same analog that you don't really use your thumb on to kind of like kind of aim and shoot <laughs> so it gets really tricky to use the jetpack and shoot at the same time. It's like you need like a claw grip just to be able to play this game effectively at a competitive level. The graphics are really, really colorful and distracting at first. It's got a very cartoony kind of kid friendly look because I think it's more of that couch co-op kind of game that you would play with kids and you know, just destroy them. <laughs> but yeah, in general, it's like very basic graphics. Some of, the, some of the screenshots and the videos look amazing though, jeez. Talking about the controls, it's very hard to aim. Like I mentioned before, having your analog and your B key that you need to press a lot of the time gets really, really hard because you have to like hold your jetpack, but at the same time you need to use that same thumb to kind of aim your analog stick. So it's like very tricky. I, I really feel like the jetpack should be like a button at the top of the controller, like maybe like right above the shooting button so that it makes more sense so that you can have your thumb free to kind of just aim it because like using the jetpack is really difficult. One thing that I found hard is that the camera angle kind of really holds you back, especially if you're trying to like use your jetpack or turn around really quickly and make like really fast plays because your camera kind of like sticks to like an area and you have to like slowly move it around. Maybe it's just the sensitivity, but but when I was using some like jetpack moves and I was like flying backwards, I was like trying to turn the camera to get go like where I want to go fast enough. And it, like I just had to like kind of wing it, just like not see where I'm going and hope I'm doing the right thing, trying to fly through a hoop backwards. It's like pro, pro skills. In general, the controls take a lot of getting used to. The sounds for the game are very cartoony and basic, I guess. There's not really much I can say against it or like for it as well. I think it's just like, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's It sounds. I mean, it's also something I don't really pay too much attention to myself. So the big question, is the game fun? 
at first it's a lot to take in and you kind of have no idea what to do but then it gets like very simple and you kind of see okay cool this is a, this is the objective you know kind of like briefs you at the beginning of a battle like here's what you got to do basically go do it and you're like what what what, what, are, what are those things <laughs> but then once you realize like the kind of tactic after like the first two or three battles you kind of get to understand how the flow of things work like okay cool i gotta like fly through these hoops okay cool i gotta collect these batteries and they match up minus with plus which sounds confusing and it, it was at first <laughs> but you get used to it like any game you kind of do you just get into the feel of things while you can play the game in solo and you can do the campaign in solo, it feels like it would be a lot more fun in co-op. I actually haven't had the, the chance to play it in co-op, but like looking at all the other videos and things of people playing this in co-op, it looks like it looks like you would have a blast just playing this game for hours with friends trying to like like kick their ass in a random otter game, you know, like it just it's one of those games that you just like you just spend like four hours playing for no reason in the middle of the night with your friends. <laughs> So if you're really looking for like a cool couch co-op game with your family or friends, this is definitely a game you should consider. If you're looking to play solo, I probably wouldn't recommend this for a solo player. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.